Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I am here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And we have another video for you today. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and she's going to show you guys what has sold. And I think we have quite a bit to go through today. So here's Kathy. Yes, and I just thought that, like, we're probably going to run out of boxes. A lot of them are shoes, like, like that are going to need a shoe box type shoe. Yeah. I don't think I have that many up here. Yeah, we are still <laughs> pretty full on inventory right now. Yeah, so, like, we just got done bagging that whole bin and, like, one other whole bin. So those are listed, bagged. They just don't fit in the inventory yet. Thankfully, we have like 20 something sales. So like, yeah, hopefully we can. We, I actually <laughs> was thinking after we pull these, I'll kind of leave boxes open. I think Chris Hardy did a few, but um, yep. just so that we can put them in afterwards and show you a few, like how we do our inventory. Not a big old detail, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, sold these play kid shoes for $25 on Posh. I bought them at Once Upon a Child for four. My thing says 487. I think they're 550 minus 20% plus tax. So mm. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, not too bad. Those just take a little box. Oh, Let's and I, I did take of off boxes. the hat because uh, it's hot up here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, go check out the Trash to Cash podcast. We were just watching where they had Josh Harry Tornado on, talking all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Regional A box. All right. Call that for that. Okay. Can we, can we open the window? <laughs> it is. This is like really it, hot. I feel it's it's the rainy it's season, which muggy. yeah. Every afternoon it starts raining, which is okay. Yeah. But it makes it very humid up here for us. <laughs> CM uh, Skechers men's slip-ons bought for $12.99. Mostly because they were like basically brand new without box. Uh, normally I might pay up to 10 depending on condition. $12.99 is pushing it for Skechers. They usually sell around 30. Mm. But because they were men's in such good shape, I paid a little bit more. So $12.99 into $39.95 plus ship and they sold in like a day. So those are very interesting souls too. Yeah, that's how a lot of the Skechers are. Yeah. So people buy these like crazy, so they must be comfortable or something. <laughs> Which is funny because I always find them in such good shape at the thrift. So some people hate them, but then other people love them <laughs> and buy them for me. So. That makes a perfect reseller item. All right. That's that. BD dance goes. Yeah, it sold in one day. And I thought I was overpricing them. They're just a basic dance go clog. These are a men's size 45, so like a larger size which usually does well for me, which is why I paid up for these. I actually paid 20, I remember, for these up in Denver. Uh, but sometimes when I like pay up for something and something else was like $3, I'll like add some dollars to the other shoe. Average just in our spread yeah. yeah. So I wrote down, I paid 15. So I must've put $5 onto like a different pair of shoes that I bought that day that was cheaper. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just like seeing the higher profits on like, <laughs> it all comes yeah. out the same in the end, you know. Necessary? Just, yeah. Maybe. Not necessary. For, so, for your own feelings. Either right? way, yeah. assume I paid 20. I sold them for 49.95 plus ship in one day of right. listing them. So was worth it. We're going to go in a shoe box. And box Q. This was a super good sale. Now I'm like, did I underprice these? <laughs> These are those walkie sandals. They were new and tag, no box. Um, these ones, again, I must have fudged the numbers a little, but I said I paid 20. I remember I paid 25. So again, adding $5 to something different. Yeah. Either way, I sold them in like two days for $109.95 plus shipping. Mm. I thought these were gonna sell for like maybe 70, 80 bucks, I think. Right. They do retail for 189 or something crazy, and they aren't new, so maybe I probably should have priced them higher, but, like, there wasn't a whole lot of comps in new, mm -hmm. so I just didn't really know. And then, like, used comps can be, like, 30 bucks, so. Right. You know, you live and you learn. Next time, if I had the exact same pair, I'd probably list them a little higher just to kind of feel it out. But I'm very happy with 20 and two, 110 in, like, a day or two. Right. Those are going to go in the mailing box. 
you know, when you say fudge the numbers, it almost sounds like it's a bad thing. But the no. way we do our bookkeeping, yeah. we, you are allowed to allocate your <laughs> your cost of goods on yeah, like whatever honestly, item from you that. Could yeah. just, you don't even have to, like, say per item. Right. Um, you can just say, put it all on the first items that sold. This month on everything, and I made yeah. $5,000 or whatever. So, yeah. It's not a bad word. Like, I'm and not hey, doing I like fudge. Why is, why is that such a bad kind con- of like fudge Nothing is great? Nothing's gonna put me in jail. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, these are some little kid Nikes. I did pay $9.99 for them, but sold for $30 plus ship. Those sold on Mercari under a pound, so going any Polly Miller. Chuck. Gotta use these up before I pull back out my Halloween ones. I still had left over some from last <laughs> year. I'm excited for fall mailers. I'm excited for all <laughs> fun fringy <laughs> mailers, but yeah. Anyhow, uh, this is a Florida Gators hat. I bought at an estate sale for five dollars. Sold it for twenty-two plus shipping. It is vintage. It's just got a, like, made in the USA, super old tag. It's in really good shape for how old it is. Maybe a little bit dingy on the inner band, but mm-hmm. overall really good. So that's cool. Sold on Mercari, so I'm going to put that in a box that I will find in our closet after. I right, going back to box Q. We were already in there, huh? Uh, I don't remember that yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> you don't remember anything. I know. Ever. My memory is getting so bad as I'm getting older. All right. Uh, anyhow, I sold these, I think it's Joie, I'm not exactly sure. You'll see it written out on the screen, but little women shorts. I actually bought these for myself at Marshalls. Um, I did wear them once, but they just kind of like stretched out throughout the day to mm-hmm. the where they were just like kind of a weird fit. So they're really cute, but not for me. So I bought them for 20, sold them for 30 plus shipping. So I'm still making a few bucks profit and getting my money back. Do a strawberry miller on those. DP. That's in here. Uh, ah. Uh oh. <laughs> We're a mess all over here. I dropped that pair, that shoe. That's for that hat one out here. Grab the box. Yeah. So these are Nike Air Max 270s. These are a really good Nike to look out for. I mean, Nike in general is a good brand. There are a lot of lower end Nikes that mm-hmm. I would usually pass over. These, I almost passed just because they were in pretty rough shape. And these are a seven Y, so like a youth size, which you can convert like into a women's size as well. But anyways, I listed them as a youth size. A men's size would sell, even a women's size would probably sell for like 90 to 100. Mm. But these, with their shape and being a use size, I just sold them for 40 plus shipping and I paid $12.99, so decent little profit. Uh, these sold on eBay actually like a week ago and the buyer never paid, so. Then they sold again yesterday on Mercari, so. Okay. Yeah, take it. Those are going FedEx Smart Post, so I'll grab this box I just saw here. And AX. This was. I really thought I was gonna get like around thirty for this. But... That's V. Oh. AX. AX. There you go. You tricked me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just like a collared sweatshirt. I don't even know how to say that or where that's even located or anything. <laughs> Duquesne. I don't know. D u q u e s n e. Duquesne. Nope. <laughs> We're, we've been pretty much Colorado most of our lives, so we have so, yeah. the University of Colorado. <laughs> right, so. Anyways, I'm posh. I got an offer of 20 I paid $4.99 for it, so I'm making about an $11 profit. I accept it because it's been listed since December. Mm. So time to move it to someone who wants it instead of holding off for what I thought it was worth. Yeah. Actually, I might just do a Tyvek mailer on that one. Yeah, I don't think we actually mentioned, whoops. <laughs> so, that was all stuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think we actually mentioned yet, but we did not record a video yesterday, which was a weekend of sales. Yesterday was our oldest son's birthday, and we spent the whole day kind of, we did do shipping in the morning, but we didn't want to yeah. take up too much time 
because we we did all kinds of stuff yesterday. We were in the sun all day. Right. We went to Santa's workshop, the North Pole, little amusement park, and we went and did a escape just room. Super busy last week, and yeah. just doing that video even would have taken an extra two hours out of our day. Right. We didn't want to do that on his birthday, <laughs> so it was kind of a nice break for me to not do it. You, you might notice Kathy got a little sun. Sure, yeah. put on a 25% off sale on whatever I still have over there listed because obviously at this point I haven't listed there in months. So right. Whatever's listed is it can go you know. Mm -hmm. So I put 25% off. It resulted in one wholesale the whole weekend. <laughs> um, week whatever. Uh, paid $5.99. The brand is Gant. I only bought this because it was a wool brand wool blend like grandpa sweater. Mm vest which was like kind of popular last winter time i don't know if they still are obviously they sold but 1875 plus ship i was getting around 30 for most of these like last winter so mm -hmm. either i just listed at the wrong time it didn't sell just like it's not a brand name people are familiar with i didn't keyword it correctly but i'm still good with that's still about an 11 dollar profit almost yeah so that's under a pound going in a mailer we did also put our eBay sales. We've kind of adjusted them like right. we were talking. This is one of them. Is it? Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, so these are, yeah, so Chris has been wanting to get, obviously we're running out of space. So yeah. if we had more space, we would be less inclined to like sell stuff for really cheap. Mm -hmm. Well, I would. <laughs> Chris would Newer still stuff. wants to like move stuff really fast. Anyways, anything over what, six months went like straight into a 50% off yeah. sale. Yeah, yeah, basically um, zero to 30 days is no sale. 31 to 60 10%. is 10% and it kind of steps up Every in 10% per month. Yeah, okay. up to 50%, which is six months old. So yeah, these were in the six month old category. They're just little baby Adidas. Paid $3.99 for them. They never sold. So I got, ended up getting 1048 plus ship. So I'm still making about $5 profit. I'm not losing money. Right. These little sales help my overall eBay store make yeah. more sales. I made a ton of full price, like higher, like we'll see higher end right. sales this weekend, which normally I put on like a 20% off sale just straight off the bat, which mm -hmm. we ended that before we started this new one. Um, and like, though, so I'm usually selling off my brand new inventory even at 20%. I mean, right. I kind of overpriced it a little for that, but now I'll just price it what I think it should sell for mm -hmm. and hope it sells at full price and then if it doesn't, obviously it's nobody wants it. Then three yeah. months, four months, five months, it just gets cheaper. But yeah, that's an easy way to get some sales. Like we got a lot of sales. We already packed up a bunch over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we're clearing out a lot of old stale inventory. There were some things that I don't think I lost money other than like on my own, own our own items. Price. Yeah. So like we would lose money anyways, right. pretty much. So everything else, you know, it's small profits but it's helping our store yeah. like get more traffic. And stuff. It's also a more like a set it and forget it kind of thing. Like we're not having to babysit each individual item, right? So yeah, it's- Yeah, and normally I do my sales for like, sorry. I like it's warm. <laughs> uh, I normally do my sales just for like three, maybe four days at a time, just so it seems like more like, okay, buy it now or right. the price is gonna get higher. Um, but these sales we decided we're gonna, at least for a while, see how it goes. And so far it's going well. Yeah. Um, the first and fifteenth was it? Or yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna reinstate it because you have to pick the items yeah. individually, and we do that based on the days old at the time of the start yeah. of the sale. So we're just gonna uh, every fifteen days. Uh, so or every it actually worked out perfect. Chris started this on the fifteenth, so at end of July we will. It'll end itself. Yeah. And then we'll just add any new stuff that passed over the six month or whatever mark. Yeah. So technically, there could be stuff that's up to forty-five days old with no sale. Yeah with the way it kind of works out which is fine too. yeah so, yeah so yeah i mean i'm happy to move we're gonna run it that way for a little bit see how we like it well we might end up making some minor adjustments or we might end up going back to how it was you know yeah 
That's what we do I mean, here. <laughs> I, I like seeing my new stuff sell for full price, which it should, because usually I'm getting better at picking all the time. Yeah. I'm um, getting better at pricing all the time. So, like, my new stuff that I'm picking, I pick it because I know it has a good sell through or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, it should sell quick if I price it correctly. Right. So. Anyways, sold these Timberland. I think I sold this exact pair the other day. This is a one size up. Sold for 26 plus ship. I bought these for 10 retail arbitrage. Those, I think, were the two in a. Yeah, just a shoe box. Okay, box D, another retail arbitrage item. Pair of men's swim trunks. The brand is Frank's. I still like, I feel like nobody knows about this brand, but like it retails for a lot. It's like a little Instagrammy, small kind of brand. But even Mercari has it like on their brand list, so I don't hmm. know. It must be more popular than I even know. Right. I only bought them because they were $7. And I sold them for 30 plus shipping within like a week or two, so not too bad. All right. All those sold on Mercari. Yeah, I, I didn't ever stop posting on Mercari, but I like took kind of like a month break on Mercari. And then I've added a bunch recently. I think we listed a ton on our last Thursday live. Mm -hmm. And I think I had five or six sales just in the last 24 hours on Mercari alone, which was very nice. Yeah. So here's another one that sold on our, I think, 50% off sale. This mm. is the brand Footmates. Just a girl's, like, basic black leather Mary Jane. These retail for a lot of money. I can usually get around $30 for them, but they were listed at about that price for six months. So I finally got sold them for $17.47 plus shipping, and I bought them for $4.89. So. <laughs> we'll run out of room. Money. Yeah. Well, let's do strawberries. All right, shoe shelf. Yay, because these shoes, <laughs> I just haven't, these are too big to fit in like bags. Right. So I'm just like waiting for space to open up. <laughs> but here's some space. Hey. So these Cabela's little low top duck boots, bought for $7.50, sold for $30 plus shipping. Those are going in a shoe box. Sold on eBay. Okay, D.E. got a viewer sale. Please, please. <laughs> He's a good boy, though. Yeah, he's a good boy. <laughs> oh, he's gonna he's put his butt there. He's a good boy. I'll give you the rub. Oh. So these are the Chuka like rain boots that we found at a garage sale for three dollars. Our viewer Anita bought them for seventeen dollars plus shipping. So thank you so much, Anita. Anita, thank you so much, and I think Reese knew that your box, your item was in that thank box. <laughs> we appreciate that support. Yeah, I, think I was doing a shoe box on those. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, Anita. Okay, right, box Y. You say thank you, Reese. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, one of our sale items. I don't know if this was quite 50%, but um, some sort of percent off. It's a Nike vintage like sweater vest. Bought for $4.99, sold for $17.97 plus shipping. Mailer. A few more. Box AF. Sold those crazy print Nike joggers. <laughs> Um, let's say Nike literally all over them. Bought for $5.99, sold, got some rain some coming. Thunder. Uh, sold for $29 plus shipping, so really good. It was literally okay. so sunny like 20, 30 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, it's not like I didn't even want to walk <laughs> outside. And now a nice breeze is coming in. Yeah, the we evenings got... are really nice. It just stinks because like... Yeah. We like got our patio all set up for this summer. We're like, finally, we have a patio set. We're gonna grill out. No, every single day it rains, which we need it. But yeah. also I'd love to sit out there and just yeah. enjoy myself. We need some waterproof covering out there. Okay, so these Adidas Stan Smith men's sneakers, bought for $7.99, sold for $39.95 plus ship. That was a full price. This last one is our best sale. Well, no, second best because those walkie shoes were the best. Right. Um, this is probably about the same profit because I paid about ten dollars less for these. It's box A. Ricky, where's your bed? 
Go right here. These Adidas Pharrell. Bought for $10.99. And actually, I think I bought these for $7.99, so I must have added $3 to these from a different <laughs> pair of shoes, like we were talking about in the beginning. Right. Uh, so, anyways, I'm saying $10.99 into $89.95 plus shipping. So, really good. Very, very nice. Okay, so those will be going in a shoebox. Sweet. So, we're going to get this stuff all packed up. Yeah. We're going to, Reese, you're making some weird noises. Okay, well, <laughs> we're going to get this stuff all packed up, and then we'll check back in with you guys in a moment. All right, got those all packed up, and we did have one more sale, I which I think it came through before. To... Yeah. Forgot to get it packaged. Are a youth like boy 16 size Carhartt camo double knee pants found at the bins. So I actually have a cost of goods of zero. So this must have been like the day that I took stuff to Play-Dohs, basically already profited, and then everything else was no cost of goods. I at least that's how I did it in my spreadsheet. Right. So yeah, those are over a pound. Buyer paid shipping for a padded flat rate. That's where they're going into Alaska. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and pack that one up when we're done here. But yeah, we wanted to, we were showing you earlier how we leave the, the boxes out. Since we're so full on inventory right now, we're gonna put a couple things away so you guys can understand. Let me get over here. Let's pull that from. Uh, okay. AP. So let's do these. So these are all three the same. Sometimes I find the same, but different sizes. These just all happen to be a men's XO. So in that case, they can all go in the same box. Yeah, they're the exact sense. same print, the yeah. exact same everything, right? Right, and if still so if I had some smalls or 2X, whatever, mm -hmm. then you would separate the boxes. But I'm going to try to find a box that fits all three. So I guess that could probably work for those. Huh? Yeah. So that's nice. <laughs> so those are in BD. BD. And in the case of on our spreadsheet, if you have the exact same thing, multi-quantity, do individual lines. I do get this question quite a bit. How do you do multi-quantity? If you have 50 of the same item, you should have it take up 50 individual lines. And the reason is you spent the same, you got, you got it the same place on the same day. That's all going to be the same information, but they're all going to sell at different times, different platforms. If you do different platforms, for different dollar amounts, right? So you wanna track that all separately. So you're gonna keep it on each individual line that way. And then just, you can write the sale data on any of them at that point. Yep. So then we'll just kinda of do what we would normally do, yeah. which is me sit here, type. Or are we gonna have this guy you do it? Us, <laughs> just in time. Your shirt. Hop your other shirt. I don't know. Yeah, he's the other one that, the, the other one that got Sun quite a bit of sun yesterday. But yeah, this is we're gonna start putting some stuff away. You wanna put a couple of things away for us? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So So these are gonna be the ones right here. So what we normally do is Kathy will you know sit here and then sit there, Chris. weigh the shoe if it hasn't been weighed. So which ones are you gonna hand sigh? Which normally it has been weighed because I usually type stuff into our spreadsheet before I even photograph it or list it or anything. And you weigh it at that time? Yeah, it's just occasionally it got out of order or something. Right. All right, Mr. Dancy. <laughs> can you find a box for those? Look for the ones that are already pulled out. Here's two that you can reach over here. Let's check and see if it'll fit in either of those two. A little oh, bit further. Pulled out maybe. A little bit further. Side guy, the ones that are already out in the right bottom. Right there. Oh. AX and BK. Check those two. Is there okay. room in that one? What about the one above it? Right here. Yeah. There you go. And then what do you tell mommy? Mm, AX. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things that the the boys do help us out with from time to time. All right, buddy. You want to do any more? You want daddy to do it? Find some more for those. <laughs> and yeah, we are pretty full on inventory lately. Hey, side check this one. I think there's room here. No. No? Okay. 
Should I try this one up here? I think I'm too. You're too short. Next we could try see it. Alright, that should fit there. I'll adjust it. <laughs> but CM. CM. And that's basically what we do. Yeah. I think we have one more. You wanna do it real quick? <laughs> and as you could tell, when uh, the boys are helping us out, it takes just a little bit longer than <laughs> usual. Very good, buddy. <laughs> but we are happy to have them help. I think it could fit in CM again. That one too? Here. Let me uh put them up here in CF. I'll re readjust that once I'm, I have two hands back. But So yeah, that's how we do it, mainly because, I mean, ideally we'd have honestly empty boxes that I could put my 15 for the whole day just in one box and then just yeah. type in DD, whatever, whatever, CO, in right. all 15, but since we're like at our max, that can't happen. But right. if you ever grow into a bigger space, maybe I would probably do it like that. But for now, yeah, we just find a space and put it in. Yep, we um, do try to keep it random. Right now we're so full, so we fit it wherever it fits. That means there might be, you know, multiple pairs of the same color of shoe, right? Like we try to keep color separated so there's not two pairs of black shoes to add confusion when we're pulling. But yeah. right now we don't have the, <laughs> the luxury of, of that choice, but. Yeah, and I've had um, people on Instagram mention they have like a sticker, like that doesn't actually stay, like a right. Velcro or something, just to let them know, oh, this box has Yeah, space. like I think clothespins so would work good. To, like, leave them out or whatever. Yeah. We did used to try uh, post-it notes and we would like slip them down here because we had the lids on the bottom. So we'd set them in there, <laughs> but they would fall out occasionally, so. We just look, we just look for space. Yep. <laughs> it's a simple answer. <laughs> yeah, not necessarily the best way, but right. that's how we do it right now. So. Sorry for the, <laughs> the friend's house after this, so yeah. they're ready to go. <laughs> they're excited to head out. And they had like, they each had a bag of candy yesterday. Like, are you still like burning off that sugar? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to cut it here. It's getting warm. We're getting antsy and we got to get the stuff off to the post office. Guys, thank you so much for all the amazing support. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. You want to say bye? Don't bye. look at my feet. <laughs> <laughs>